Hey there, it's Travis Scarewalt. Welcome to another edition of Air Power Live. Today, we are talking about installing paper filters. You heard me right, paper filters. So there's really two major camps when it comes to uh, standard uh, paint booth filters. There's two camps that kind of the dominant camps. And one would be the polyester filters and the other would be paper filters. So what I'm actually gonna work with you today and show you today is an installation of what we're using here today is Colmet's uh, RP Arresters. This is actually a very new filter to the market. This is the 5200 W series. Uh, we are going to be doing a video solely on the W series, but as you can see, a little bit of differences here. You'll, you'll notice that you've never seen a white face on a, on a paper filter before. Uh, this is actually, especially on RP, RP's has always been the brown paper, but the W series is, is special in a way. Uh, the front face filter or the front face layer of paper has been added as white instead of the brown. It does lighten up your booth a little bit. The second thing, in this particular, uh, this particular filter that we've chosen today, which is the high capacity ultra efficiency, um, the series 5200, it has a thick polyester on the back of it, kind of like a, uh, a final capture layer for the finer materials. And this is also different than the traditional RP filters that you've bought for years and years. Uh, this is actually a virgin polyester versus a reclaimed polyester on the others. Uh, so we'll get into that in another video much later. But <clears throat> today, what we want to do is talk about uh, and, and do an installation basically showing you the different layers. So right here, this is the first layer. I believe these are 8 foot by 45 inches wide and they come in bags and those bags have four, five, three, four, five different, uh, actually that's a what they call a pad, rolled up together in a bag and then plastic put over it. So in this case we have uh, four blankets that complete this install and we're using snapper bars at the top to hold them in place. So this is the first layer. The first layer is the one that takes the brunt of the the paint capture in your operation. But you're always going to need something behind uh, a secondary or a, even three layers of media to do what you need to do to full capture. Now, this booth is located in our Air Power Chattanooga branch location. We have a nice little finishing lab in this facility. Um, we can shoot liquid, powder, electrostatic liquid, whatever you want. We can shoot it here and do a demo for you. But in this particular case, as our powder booth, this is not a heavy duty used booth. This booth is something where we do testing in, uh, we'll do a small trial. It's not something that's in full operation. So I'm only gonna install or show you an install of two layers of filters today because we're gonna use the layer of blankets that you can see right now and the layer of filters that's behind it, which we're gonna show you in just a second because why? I have a really fast pit crew and we're about to shake this down really fast and make a change out just like that. Is that fast or what? I'm telling you, you don't even wanna know how much it costs to have help that fast. All right, so what are we looking at now? We are looking at a 20 by 20 grid that is four high and seven wide if I count it, right? Yep, seven wide. So. We have to fill all of those up with filters. In this case, uh, bags are available with the same uh, product line, but we chose to go with the cut pads. And these cut pads are very simple. Now, if you'll notice, we did another video where we shot uh, on a polyester install. And we took the bag filters out and it was just a big opening, right? Well, in this case, we have cut pads. Well, what is a cut pad? Cut pad is literally the 
same media that you saw in the bag filter, but cut into a small 20 by 20, so a little bit bigger than a 20 by 20. And this installs right inside here. Now, we can take that out and we can put a bag filter in there, but we don't need it in this particular application. So we have these snap-in grids, go just like that. The rubber tips help keep it secured. And you'll notice there's little spines on the four sides and those spines help grab and hold the filter on. Now, I'm gonna try to get up here a little bit and show you. These filters have the front layer is like a louver system. There's, you're gonna either, there, you can install this particular piece one of four ways, right? Well, only one of those ways is actually correct. <clears throat> but I wanna show you something about RP filters that stands out, or if you want to call it leans out, for an important aspect of uh, filter paint capture. If you will look here, you will see these louvers are installed the right way. Okay, they're angling up. Can you see my hand? They're angling up. They're angling this way. Why? When paint comes floating this way, we want the paint to hit that piece of filter and then to start falling back, exposing the layer behind it. What's happening there is the paint is actually loading, is depth loading into the filter instead of getting caught at the front and face loading this filter, choking it off to where it won't breathe anymore and it won't take any more paint. This filter, this W series filter, is the leading paper filter in the market and it will hold a ton of paint. Don't choke your filter off by installing it upside down the improper way. Install the right way, get longer length of life for your filter and have your paint capture. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's been a little bit of help. Um, we could put a back filter behind that. We could put the snap and grid in front of the bag, then put a cut pad and then put the face roll media that would have been three layers so if you need it in your operation it's very easy to do thank you for joining me in another edition of air power live please if you need anything even uh, find us on the uh, internet at airpower-usa.com call us at our 800 number 800-334-1001 and social media you know we like social media Get on any of our social media channels, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. We're there. We're all over. Look for us. Reach out to us today. If we can help you, we'd be glad to.